Hi, I'm Agarka. I'm an associate in DSDHA and a part of Spatial Intelligence Group. This is activity analysis research video when I will explain research techniques that could be useful for you. You are now a little bit familiar with the diagram visible here. We will now focus on the second part. When you zoom in to your site or the area you're researching, you will start to see individual activities happening around it. Main questions you would like to answer would be, how busy active is your area? Look at pedestrians, cyclists, cars, deliveries, trains. How much space is available for movement? Is it filling enough or is it too congested, too crowded? Is the space dominated by one means of transport? Is road very wide, but pavements too narrow? What is the rhythm of the movement through the space? Is it changing throughout the day or weekday? When is it, when is it the busiest? Google Street View and 3D maps are very useful in answering those questions. You can zoom in to the area and start marking up your first observations. Key junctions, shopping areas, places where you think people would gather, like squares or parks. See if there is any cycle parking, for example. You could start identifying areas where there's no pavement or pavement is very reduced. See if there are enough pedestrian crossing or if the street uh, is cyclist friendly. Anything you think is worth noting. In-person research, such as 100 conversations uh, that our studio does, could give you more insight of what the area feels like for people who live and work there. We usually try to go to site and ask locals few simple questions like where they are going, how they will get there, what do they think about the area or that street. You can then highlight all of those journeys on the map and see if any patterns are emerging. You may identify places that locals avoid or places and streets that are much busier and more popular. You can also highlight places that locals identify as places that could be improved. You do not have to leave the house to do similar research. If you live in the area, ask your family, friends and neighbors. If you live elsewhere, look at any local community groups online. See if they have forums or social media groups. You can read through their comments and know their views better. It is important to collect words uh, from the conversations, online forums to understand local needs and prioritize them. See if they wish to have more greenery or safer street. Would they like to see more activity in the area or maybe not? How accessible public realm feels to them there will be issues that you're trying to resolve and objectives to meet. When you are on site, have a look how busy the area is in the morning and then in the afternoon or evening as it is changing throughout the day. In this example, you see how different central London street looks like in the morning with cycle commuters and in the afternoon with people socializing. When you're on site, try to video and mark up different users' movements in the area highlighting how pedestrian cars and cyclists can move through the junctions or on the street. In example that you can see here, this is what we've done. But you may want to wish to count people walking dogs or children having, or, uh, having fun. Maybe you are interested if people are, um, if there are places that are not accessible for them. Maybe there is no safe pedestrian crossing or there is closed street or one way street. If you cannot go to site, look at Google Street View, compare it uh, with time in the past if possible, or see if there are any pictures online of businesses close by. If you are unable to go to site, use Google Street Images, or follow the key hashtags on social media and see what people are uploading in the area throughout the day. This is the example that we found of, on Twitter of all spitterfields. You can also uh, use those pictures or videos to highlight obstacles on the street that limits uh, visibility or movement for cars, pedestrians and cyclists. You can map any observations you meet, wish. This example shows the number and density of shop signage and shop fronts on the streets, showing streets that have more retail feel than others. That one show how many people tend to have face-to-face -face conversations in different areas. You can either highlight it on photo or on the map. We are now asking you to answer a few questions and prepare your own markup based on your experience of the site and online research you have done. How active is the space throughout the day and what causes it to change? 
What activities are happening in the space and do they also change throughout the day? What does the site offer for seating, lighting, planting? How is it encouraging people to gather and have a conversation? Markup 3D Google Map View, similar to the one that you see below, to show anything of interest that can be used to help frame your design narrative and own experience of the place that you think is worth sharing. Thank you very much and good luck.